Welcome to ABC 4 News at 10. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us here. We do begin tonight with an alarming situation in Murray. A woman sharing some disturbing footage from just outside of her home. A video of a man, that's what you're seeing here, walking up to her door and attempting to open it. But what he does next is completely unexpected. ABC 4's Courtney Johns talked to the woman about what happened and why she's sharing her story tonight. Courtney. Yeah, Emily, the woman we talked to says this all happened while she was upstairs in her house, and she's never seen this man before. She says she's still freaked out over what happened, which is why she asked us to conceal her identity. Looking straight at the camera and jiggling the door handle with his shirt in between the handle, and then this. The woman who shared this video with us says she watched all of this happen on her phone from inside her home. And I think he could see my husband looking at him through the window, and then he just like took off. Those cameras, I'll tell you, in law enforcement, we love those because they work really, really well. Sergeant Spencer Cannon has been with the Utah County Sheriff's Office for over 30 years. He says doorbell cameras can be lifesavers in situations like this. But if you don't have one, there are extra precautions you can take when someone knocks at your door. One of the simplest things is remembering that opening the door is your decision. If you don't feel comfortable, don't open the door. Cannon says you can always talk to people with the door closed. And if you're alone, don't let the person on the other side know. Let's say mom and dad are out to dinner. And you say, well, my mom's busy. She can't come to the door right now. Is that true? Yeah, it is true because mom's busy out to dinner. But the most important thing you can do is also the easiest. Lock your doors. Something this woman says made all the difference. Yeah, we were on the top floor and he could have just come right in if we forgot to lock the door. Now, police tell us they were able to ID the man and they will continue to investigate. But due to privacy concerns, they're not releasing any other information. Back to you.